One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com, and it's the evening time, and I'm actually filming the interior before I film the exterior. So I'm gonna go around this thing real quick here in the evening time, just kind of show you the outside. Now I won't show you any dings or little things like that, and there's just a couple little dings, but I'll show you them, and you've probably already seen them by now, in the exterior video. And I split these up now, and I'll tell you, it makes it a lot easier for me to show you what you're getting. This here is a 1997 Oldsmobile Aurora. Uh, it's a beautiful car. It's in great shape. And that's kind of a once around in the evening. And other than that, man, we're going to check this thing out inside. That's what I'm here for tonight. Nathan, 406-544-6919 for sale. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And I'll start off showing you door panels and such. In great shape. Everything inside here. Just in great shape. 68039. And the seats are not ripped or torn or anything. It's got some of the, what I, I call fold over, or just kind of folds over from sitting. You can see that in the mm -hmm. creases. Um, hardly anywhere on the pedals. A little dust from me driving it. That's about it. Um, beautiful rugs. Still got the Aurora floor mats. Headliner's in great shape. Center console. Steering wheel controls. Electric seats, everything in this car. I'm gonna try to do the once around and such and get through this thing on a once around to where you can see everything. And I'll try and open everything in the least amount of time as possible. How's that? Floors are in great shape. Carpets are in great shape. Excuse my wallet up there. Trying to snap a couple pictures while I'm at it. Cool coin. A guy can hope, can't he? Cigarette lighters in the back seat, man. PowerPoints for people nowadays. Think of that. We never even really had anything to plug into them. Now everybody's got a plug for their phone. It's in great shape. Beautiful in the back. Ooh, the body stripping's in great shape. Spare tire and jack is there. I love when you got everything here like it should be. Little piece of molding broke right there. Show you that. And I'll go over this car on the outside. I probably already have, actually, like I say. Who knows? Want to pull this down for you? Wow, huh? That's heck of luxury. A little bit of a stain right there. I think it's because they have a speaker in there. In the backs of them things. And it blows dust through it. Door panels are beautiful. This is just awesome. It's a great car. Go coin. I gotta look, man. I can't not look. You can't can't not look. Passenger side temp and everything. Control in the doors. Um, I'm gonna go over some options on this side while I'm over here. I figure I might as well show you that. Hey now. I had, I, I had this all. Hey! I had that all looking nice and now I think I got windshield streaks. Oh well. Power trans normal, traction control on or off. You turn it off, I'm telling you what, hold on to your butt because this thing's mean. That's all there is to say about it. Okay. Seat back, back, recline, up, up in the front, down in the front, up in the back, down in the back, straight forward or straight forward, backward, that's that. Lumbars work, two way, door walk, door walks, door locks are great. I'll show you the rest from the other side when we get over there. 
I just mess with them door locks and I don't want to lock anything. Beautiful under the hood. <clears throat> Look at that. And I just had this um, recharged. Um, I just paid to recharge and I put a new air conditioning pump on it, AC pump. And now the blower's not blowing for some reason. I think I got a relay or a fuse. Check the eBay ad, I'll tell you all about that. Um, this coating that's on the valve, the uh, valve covers, is kind of bubbling like it gets on all these of this vintage. 4.0. GM motor, Cadillac development or whatever. Joel Rath's test drive junkie. I don't know if you like these. I know you're a bastard car type person and these kind of fit that profile. Um, beautiful car, it's in great shape. Um, well, that's the deal. When I'm doing these, I figure, hey, I might as well show you what I can and also go for a quick test drive. Um, <clears throat> kind of gives me a chance to think about it. And what else I could show you? And on this one, the sad thing is, there just ain't much to talk about because it's in great shape. So, let's go on a test drive. I'm trying to think of anything else. A little scuff right there. I'm sure you've already seen that. <laughs> Keep forgetting. Just do an interior. Now, that's neat. It's neat for me to be able to... Okay, cool, it works without the key. Back on the recline, up on the recline, up on the base, back on the base, down in the front, up in the front, down in the back, up in the back. I do like knowing all my options work, and I'm sure you're the same way when you're, especially when you're buying something. And if it don't, at least you know. Let's see, lumbar. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's got the power memory set. And heated mirrors, look at that. I think that's what that little heated sign means. Chip in the key and key fob. The battery's dead in it though. Look at all the lights on this thing. Well, not after it starts, of course. There's a the head. Oh, here we go. Interior lights, and they're all good. Here's what I mean, it just doesn't blow. This car doesn't blow, man. Uh, you got the computer up here. With all the little different things you can work out. That is pretty cool. Um, stereo works fine. Well, I got your cup holders here. You know what? Oh, you gotta push that. You gotta push that in. And then lock. There we go. I'll learn it, just give me a minute. Okay, very comfortable car. I believe this will learn your garage door opener as well. Um, all of these in this year. He's got it tucked, I think. No, he's not got it tucked. And you can make this dimmer and lighter. Hey, there I am. And this is just a little loose like they get. And you've got your extra to where when you pull this to the side, you got another one here. And you can also, this is pretty low tech for people who are used to these. You can like set this thing off, man. So, there's all that. Let's do the mirrors. This is overkill, some people tell me on this. You don't need to show all this stuff. I had one guy tell me, yeah, way to sell cars, idiot. Show me all the flaws within the first few minutes. You're a blankety blank blankety blank. Yeah, I guess I am. I'm a blankety blank blankety blank. But that's what I'm here to do, is show the car. I don't have all the features like this has, 
327 horsepower and 383 bulk torque reps and I don't got all that stuff for you but what I do got for you is what is wrong and what is just I got the car for you yeah baby the windows auto down really quick too man now you know what I want to make sure and disclose this these pillar pieces here they get like that now I could have it all replaced for you but nothing wrong with it it just shows some wrinkles and that's on all of them that one too same thing in the back matter of fact well that helps all of them in fact that one too both side pillars all the felt pieces are just kind of like that I don't know okay overdrive with the I bet you that shoots the light off somewhere I bet you that turns that on there we go that came on oh that's not good it just says it on it power normal power of course and your light there oh missing the actual um, thing that looks fine and it's getting pretty dark, isn't it? <clears throat> I'm gonna have to remember that. Get up here an extra 15 minutes early. Well, I got my traction control off, which you really don't need to be doing much of in this car. Um, and it takes you from 20 to 40, like, bam. Jeez, that's crazy. Come around the corner, that guy's standing like, hey man, <laughs> it's only going 24, <laughs> but it sure sounded like I was going for it. We'll go for it right here. Down to 20 or so. Jeez, man, that's 23 to 40. Just boom. Well, one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com beautiful night here in sunny California. <laughs> I'm scared to get on it with the traction control off. That is zero to 40. Just like that. I'm here to tell you, the car is fast. Very fast. Shifts nice, runs nice, steers nice, comfortable as can be. Compass in the mirror. Just know where to get on it. I'm not wanting to get on it. Just trying to get up to 25 or so quickly and show you that it's strong. And hold my camera a little still. It's stiller than that. And it was a give or take, man. You could have went. I'd have slowed down, and I wouldn't have called your names, or you could stop. It was nice of you. Well, oneownercarguy.com 406-544-6919. I'm gonna take this back up to the house now. Now you've seen it all yesterday. Well, actually it wasn't yesterday. It was just a little while ago to you. Um, which is gonna be actually tomorrow. Because I'm gonna, f I usually film the outsides first. Jesus, this car is tough, man. Tough car. I'm glad that guy ain't there. I felt bad. Come around the corner, I was only going 23. <clears throat> um, very torquey compared to a 4.6 North Star. Torquey? I don't know, rappy. Kind of like a 
327 compared to a 350, if that makes any sense. Avante, 77 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Mercedes is like crazy, and Volvo, and Testarostica, and all this stuff is on my channel here, or on my website, oneownercarguy.com. Let's get the lights off. Fog lights also right there. Oh, Breeder's just having a pity out there. If you watch my channel much, you know Breeder's my puppy. What's up, Breeder? What's wrong? I know. I know. Beaglespocket.com. I know. I'll be there. Beaglespocket.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, it's a beautiful car, and it is cheap, it is cheap, cheap. Um, check the website, oneownercarguy.com. I just said that. Sorry to repeat it. But that's what I just did. Free car. I'm giving one away, so check my website, and... Check my channel and watch the videos and find out how. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. Import, export. I'll ship this to any place in the world. We'll see you.